It's Thursday afternoon post lunch and you look out at your team and you see the faces of exhaustion. The team's energy is low. The productivity has plummeted and the engagement is non-existent. So you, as the leader, as the manager of that team, know that you need to increase that energy, increase that productivity, increase that engagement. What can you do? Well, in this video, I'm gonna give you five actions that you can do as a leader of a team, a community, or an organization to increase the energy, which will ultimately increase the productivity. Let's get into it. There you are in the office and someone yells out pink slips. Now the younger viewers don't remember or know what pink slips are, but back in the day, a pink slip was a thing that you got that let you know you were getting ousted from your job. You're getting fired, you're being let go. Well, this pink slip, a completely different version of that. Anytime someone yells it out, there's a big jar in the middle of the office where someone can go and put into that jar on a pink piece of paper, a shout out an acknowledgement or a compliment to someone else for something they did for them or for the team. So when someone yells out pink, pink slip, slip, then anyone can go over to the jar, pick one of these ideas out, open it up and read it out loud. So we all get to hear the shout out, that acknowledgement for that person and what they did for someone else or for the team. Why this is beneficial is because it increases the positivity within your office space. People feel valued and validated for the work that they're doing, which many times just goes unnoticed. Also, it's a really kind of silly way to remind people about the company culture, that we're all in this together and that we can give each other these celebrations. So maybe next time you see the dip happening, have someone on your team yell out, pink slip, and have someone go and pick out something from the jar. The second idea has to do with hydration. I'm sure you've heard the phrase, hydrate or dihydrate. Get rid of it. You know, us humans, we're roughly about 60 to 80% water. I have a friend who's a psychologist who says the number one concern he has with his clients is that they're just filled with anxiety. And I jokingly said to back to him, I said, well, we're also filled with water. So it's kind of like we're walking cucumbers with anxiety. So when you or someone on your team maybe is tired, maybe they have a headache, maybe their eyes are a little blurry, maybe they can't concentrate. And maybe it's an issue of they haven't had enough water throughout the day because we as humans don't drink enough water. According to curiosity.com, they found that when someone's dehydrated, they might start to get a headache, they'll feel irritable, they'll get tired, they might even get nauseous, they'll get dizzy, they might even tense up. And so tasks that someone's trying to get done are just gonna be exponentially harder to get done. So what are you doing as the leader to help your people to drink more water? Did you offer canteens to everyone in the office? Do you have clean filtered water for them to drink? Do you have water? break? Do you have special water in the refrigerator for them to use? What can you do so that your team doesn't hydrate or dehydrate? Speaking of which, here's my cheers to water. Another option has to do with the lighting in the office. If I turn this camera around, you would see I have one, two, three, four, five, six, six different lights shining at me. When I have that many lights shining at me, it is intense, but it also keeps me up and going and full of energy. What does your office dynamic look like? Do you have very low dim fluorescent lights? Do you have lights that flicker? Do you have lights that aren't even working? Curiosity.com also found in a study that when when there's low light in an office space, the productivity goes down and people's learning ability goes down, their memory goes down. So maybe that low energy in your office has to do with the physical environment specifically related to the light. So turn those lights on, switch those bulbs or bring extra lights in to fill up your space with more lighting so that your people can feel more awake from it. Far too often when I go into an office space of a company, I look around and I'll see 30% of the people sitting there at their desk eating the food, eating their lunch at their desk. They don't go outside. They don't absorb the vitamin D from the sunlight. They don't leave the office. They don't change their visual view from their computer. That kind of activity or lack of activity is gonna be detrimental to the energy of your team. So maybe you should encourage your team to go outside, have that lunch somewhere else and not sit at their desk, especially on those warm days 
days. When it is nice outside, maybe there should be a mandatory outside team lunch because that kind of vitamin D energy, that change in perspective, that physical movement of just getting away from the desk is gonna re-energize them so that when they come back, they have more energy. And one final idea for you to help increase the energy of your team is that you can challenge people to do random acts of kindness for each other. Maybe it could be a secret Santa. Maybe it could be a vending machine gift. Maybe it could be a free lunch. Maybe it could be positive note to each other. Good job. I remember I was at this one office where they dedicated one day to each person and that person got flooded with a bunch of positive notes from all their coworkers about things they valued about that person. And so on their desktop, they had hundreds of these post-it notes of things from their coworkers that they'd said about them and appreciated about them. You better believe that person that day had a whole bunch of energy because they're receiving all this gratitude. But here's the thing, it's not just for that person, it's also all those people who filled out those notes of gratitude also filled up with energy. So it's not just the same routine over and over again at the office. Today we are going to celebrate Sandra for all the amazing things she does for us and our team and our community and our organization. So there you go. That's five ideas to help you as a leader to increase the energy of your team. You can throw out those positive pink slips. You can remind your team to hydrate or dehydrate. You can change the lighting in the office to make it more alive so it's not the dreary lighting that is in there now. You could encourage them to go take lunch breaks, especially when it's nice out. And lastly, you could encourage them to do random acts of kindness for each other. If you like these ideas about how to engage your people, I highly recommend you subscribe to our channel because I'm going to continue to put out videos. My name is Tom. I'm here to help you to engage your people. I'll see you in the next video. <laughs>